Good morning and welcome. I hope everyone's having a great day. My name's Rabbit and I'm here to show you my wonderful, simple iron farm. Like me, you've probably built this wonderful old school iron farm in your 1.13 world. But sadly, as of 1.14, it no longer works. And I've just been using my extra iron that I had saved up. And now it's getting pretty scarce, so I figured I would build myself a new iron farm. And with a little help from uh, Mr. Nembom, I watched his video and he sh taught me everything I need to know about how to upgrade this standard uh, iron farm. So we know a couple of new things for 1.14 with in regards to iron farms. First, you need your villagers to have a bed, have a workstation, and they have to have been scared. And there's one little thing else. They can't have seen a golem within 16 blocks of them for a certain amount of time. Uh, I'll leave the description of Nembom's video in mine where I learned all this information. So pretty much what I did was just extend this platform out by eight blocks. Do, do, do. One, two, eight. Let's go eight, not seven. Then we have to uh, put some glass along the edge here which glass panes are a pain to put up. But here we go. Okay, we're back. So I've just built a little box around there with glass planes. We're gonna add this water here. So it just makes a little chute. And this will be our new golem spawning platform. Now you could do the quick and dirty like this and just add these little wings on top or you could take it down to that first level and then add the wings. So we have to make a new module for our villagers because they're not going to stay underneath. So we want to come up four blocks so we've already got two panes. So we could come up two blocks here, add our iron trapdoor ours here. And we need to give them a workstation. Now I picked fletching table because in my survival world I had a lot of uh, flint left over <laughs> from mining gravel. So easy to make. So we're going to put a little platform right here for our villagers. We put three beds down because we're only going to need three villagers. And put a little redstone here to keep the golems from spawning there. So we're gonna have to put a trapdoor on top of here. Whoops, I needed that block. I need one here and here. Cause you need some end rods here. Whoops. Put a couple end rods here and there. They keep our little villagers in their containment chamber there. Get rid of those. So if we go to here, we grab our villager spawn egg, get the bucket. We'll be able to spawn them in. They will take on their job. Boop, boop, boop. And there you go. That's your little villager area. When they get scared, well, they have to work first. They'll get scared, they'll spawn a golem into this area here which then will be flushed into the old flushing area and then dropped into the lava, just like the old one. Now you have to <coughs> somehow scare them. So we have to come out four blocks here. You can come, you can actually make it shorter, but the time for the zombie to go all the way around or husk is quicker so they have like a 30 second timer or something before they can respawn another one so I put four just so 
when it gets back, they've already expired on their little timer there. So if we just grabbed ourselves uh, a zombie, where's a zombie? Zombie. Zombie. Where are which? Oh, oh. Zombie. There it is. Let's say we just spawned a villager right here. I mean a villager. Oh, and he's burning to death. Oh, that's not good. Can I save him before he dies? No, probably not. They have not worked yet, that's why. Say, so, go away, zombie. Now they've slept. Time set noon. There you go. Working, working, working. <laughs> so now that the time has been changed and they've worked and they've slept, if I scare them with this zombie guy here, boop, they should. Spawn in a golem. Ta-da! And goodbye, Mr. Zombie. So it's just that simple. All you got to do is add four more wings. And there you go. Build yourself a track around like I did over here. And as you can see, the zombie is traveling. Or I've got a husk. And he swans a zombie. He goes around. We made this little minecart holding center so it can give them a good scare, which is pretty simple. Oh. You can see that one. They did not spawn a zombie. I mean, as a golem. Here is the holding cell that just two comparators going in to uh, turn off this torch, which stops them on that part right there. As he goes around, it takes a good 34 seconds, I believe, for him to go all the way around. And they spawn golems. This has been running for roughly an hour now since I built it. And that's how much you get in an hour. Not too bad for just upgrading your old iron farm if you need it. But if you uh, want a lot of iron... Let me back up right here. We know that the villagers here won't spawn another golem if they've seen a golem within 16 blocks. So knowing that, we can take the same design here and just go up with it. Go up, and as you can see, I'm able to get 10 levels in here. It does pretty well producing golems. The cool thing is this water stream is 8 and this water stream is 8 so that's 16 so if they get hung up on the edge like those guys were just standing there they are outside of their 16 range and they're actually one whole block back so you have two blocks space. So originally I had come up with this plan and I had chopped, just made this waterway to here and pretty much chopped up this whole corner. Well, the problem with that was as the golems are falling from above, they were bumping into each other and landing on top of the glass panes and just causing all sorts of problems. So I had to just keep the big squares. Either that or I would have had to have done a uh, drop shoot down the middle. Either way it would have worked but it's pretty simple to make the big squares 
and uh, I think it's pretty cool too. You get to see them all, and it's got a little uh, nostalgia for the old iron forms. As you can see, they're just dropping away, and this one has been running also for probably an hour. I see there's a little bit of problem with too many golems. And let's see where they are now. Oh. So that is close to, let me check the time, 37. Slightly less than an hour. Get yourself a whole bunch of iron. If you built this thing in the uh, spawn chunks, Wow, those guys are loud. Let me get away. Build this thing in the spawn chunks, and it's just running constantly. You would have more iron than you ever need. So, seeing how it's just stacked on top of each other, I would call this the Iron Tower. You could even put a facade around the outside to make it look like a big skyscraper, which is what I'm planning on doing in my single-player world. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments section, and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Wait, 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 wait. Stop the music, stop the music. So while I was editing this video. Something happened. 1.15 came out. I guess I should have probably kept track of whenever it was coming out, but I made the video at 1.14. So I've switched over to 1.15 to see if it still works, and what do you know, it still works. So I'm going to go down here and Whee! over here and let's see All right, we are going to break this hopper and then I will just stand here AFK for an hour and let's see what we get in 1.15 I'll catch you guys in an hour alright guys I am back it has almost been an hour, and I've noticed something. You see right here, oops, you can see items are still on top of the hoppers here. So, if you look in here, they're just totally full to the brink. So, hopefully we didn't lose any despawns. I'm just trying to get rid of some of these poppies. So maybe a minecart collection system would be better for this so I hopped on here probably be about 15 20 minutes ago to whoops and I'm falling to my death and I'm falling why am I oh there's my hour <laughs> right as I fall out of the world let me get rid of that oh now I gotta get all the way back over there and I'm falling again there we go. <clears throat> Here we go. So I added another chest because... Whoops. We were producing way too much iron. So there's one chest. And... Two chests. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Well, that might uh, skew our, uh, our uh, results here a little bit. Alright, and let me pick this. Oh, that's going to start flowing through. It's going to be slow. 
All right. So, well, we can see pretty much two double chests and one, two, three, four hoppers. So that's another 20, 47, 27 plus 27 plus, how many spots are a hopper? Five. So let's do math with rabbit. So what did I say? Oh, it's 27 per double chest plus another 27 would be 54. Then, what is Four hoppers? Four times five, that'd be another 20, so that'd be 74 stacks of iron in an hour. Not too shabby. So, my less than um, scientific method. We may have lost some. See, there's iron just chilling up there. We may have lost some to despawning, but I don't think so. But definitely a faster collection system will probably help out a little bit. Especially with all the poppies to try and get those out of the way. So, for the second time, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.